cervical cancer so what is cervical cancer what are the symptoms of cervical cancer how we can prevent it how we diagnose it today we will be discussing about all these stuff so basically cervical cancer is the cancer of cervix what is cervix cervix is the lower most part of the uterus so why cervical cancer develops it happens because of an infection with human papilloma virus there are lot many strains of hpv virus out of them 16 and 18 hpv 16 and 18 are the one who are commonly uh, which are the most common uh, causative factors for the cervical cancer regarding the symptoms of cervical cancer the most common symptoms are wide discharge per vagina uh, this discharge is usually copious foul smelling persistent another common symptom is irregular periods irregularities in the menstrual cycle it may present as heavy menstrual period spotting or bleeding in between the period post coital spotting it may also present as post menopausal bleeding it may give you pelvic pain pain in the lower limbs uh, weight loss fatigue so these are the common symptoms of cervical cancer so what are the risk factors of cervical cancer since uh, it is uh, caused because of an infection that is hpv infection which is sexually transmitted so the main root cause is this only so how we can prevent it what are the basically risk factors risk factors are multiple sexual partners early onset of sexual activity smoking and alcohol also increases the risk of cervical cancer multi gravidity that means giving birth to multiple children is another risk factor of cervical cancer Another type, other type of STDs like Neisseria, Gonorrhea, Chlamydia, like other vaginal infections, they also increase the risk of cervical cancer. So how can we prevent it? Basically, we pre can prevent it by routine checkups, by doing routine uh, Pap smear examinations. Cancer. So basically, cervical cancer is detected by a pulse spectrum examination. When we do regular pulse spectrum examination, we can find certain changes which are there in the cervix by which we can know that there is a possibility of development of cervical cancer. Definitely, Pap smear is very helpful in this. Routine yearly Pap smear is advisable. Once you get a negative report for three consecutive years, then it is advised to get a Pap smear done every three yearly. Colposcopy is also very helpful. It is again an OPD procedure. which helps us in detecting cervical cancer at early stage if needed cervical biopsy can be done ultrasound mri and ct scan are other helpful modalities in detecting cervical cancer so how can we prevent cervical cancer cervical cancer can be prevented by following safe sex practices be loyal to your partner getting pap smear examinations done every yearly avoid smoking alcohol increase your immunity cervical cancer vaccine is also available in our market which can be used it is effective to the extent of 70 to 80% if you have any other query regarding cervical cancer you can write us down in the comment box section thank you